Joining me is Republican Bob Hugan. He's the New Jersey Senate candidate. Welcome here. So the, the president initially said that John Brennan had exhibited erratic behavior. Then he did an interview with the Wall Street Journal and said, well, you know, because he did not investigate the Hillary Clinton email scandal or he was involved in this uh, rigged witch hunt initially, that that was the reason. If there was no national security violation, do you think that the that it's warranted to strip these people of their security clearances. Well, I think first we, the principle should be national intelligence security is what's most important. So ensuring during transitions we have good support from outgoing and ingoing administrations. Right. But over time, if you're not going to be involved in helping the administration, helping the government, what's the necessity of having the clearance? So I, I think we should. Re, I, I hope the president reassesses the whole strategy and the principles behind it and ensures. Only people who need to have access to top-level security and uh, secret information should have access to it. Yeah. And if you're going to go on a partisan talk show and be involved in politics on it, I think it's yeah. pretty clear it's not necessary. All right. Well, that's interesting. I want to also ask you about this because the Wall Street Journal wrote about your race. This is from the editorial board saying, if their exits and corruption campaign had a scintilla of sincerity, liberal columnists would be writing in favor of Mr. Hugan, the way conservatives supported Democrat Doug Jones against Roy Moore's Senate campaign in Alabama last year. But Democrats and their media echoes aren't really worried about corruption. Their oppose is a tactic to regain power. Meet the new swamp creatures, same as the old ones. You've been running on this issue of corruption. It's one of the reasons you got into the race. Absolutely. How's that going? It, it's going well. It's resonating with the people of New Jersey because they know they deserve better and they should get better and serve better in Washington. But also, how the ineffectiveness of Senator Menendez, not just corrupt, but ineffective also. The people of New Jersey have been so underserved, and that dual message is really resonating. I have to tell you, Dan, I'm incredibly encouraged by what I'm hearing, not just in my race, but all around the state of New Jersey. People are finally saying, it's gone too far. We need change. And even Senator Sweeney and Senator Orojo the last few days talking about bold measures to fix the financial issues that we have, the fiscal issues in New Jersey. We need bold change. So t President Trump's tax cuts are something that, you know, obviously it's fueling, helping fuel the economic boom that we have. New oh, Jersey great. wasn't all that happy because it stripped the um, New Jersey residents from being able to claim some of that back on their taxes. Yeah. Where do you stand on that now? Well, I I'll tell you, the overall tax bill is outstanding for the economy like you put it out. Look at the economic growth we're having. It puts companies on level playing fields so we can create the jobs here in the United States mm -hmm. and specifically in New Jersey. But the top end of the tax bill, the cap on state and local tax deductions, is bad for New Jersey because it's leading to an out-migration of some of the highest earners, the most creative entrepreneurs we have, and we need to fix it. And that's one of the things I wanted to go to Washington and say overall tax reform was good, but the part of the, of the SALT deduction was very bad for New Jersey, and we need to make some amendments but and isn't that New Jersey's it. problem, though, like, it, and not the federal government's? Like it, it's, it's both, and I agree with you. One state should not subsidize the other. But New mm -hmm. Jersey's 50. When you take away a subsidy from a state that's already last, then there should be other subsidies. So the fairness issue goes both ways. New Jersey deserves to be better treated by Washington. Would you want President Trump or a former Governor Chris Christie to come and campaign with you? You know, Dana, this race is about New Jersey's issues. So I want anybody to help me that make sure we focus on issues that I'm running on. Honesty, integrity in government, and ensure that New Jersey gets its fair share, that we get we're done. So the issues that I'm running on are the issues I'll have anybody want to come and support me, as long as it's on the terms that we're running for. It's Bob Hugan against Bob Menendez for what's best for New Jersey. And I heard you actually have a campaign bus. We have a great bus. Do you bus. have good snacks on that bus? We have healthy snacks on that <laughs> bus. It's, healthcare is an important issue, and that's one of the reasons I'm running. All right, well, we'll come back and talk about that another time. Bob Hugan, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Breaking news in the Manafort trial, the judge revealing moments ago he's received death threats and he also announced whether he would release the jurors' names. Those details next.